other people are doing. So, the Xiaomi 14 and the S24 Ultra are ridiculous matchup, I acknowledge it completely, but despite the price difference and despite the fact that this isn't the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, which is coming around April 8th, I think the sale starts and ho oh, oh, it's gonna be good when we finally get it, but until then, Xiaomi 14 is no slouch in the cameras department at the very bloody least, so yes indeed, it can compete against the S24 Ultra. So all I can tell you is this much. Your expectations might not be as accurate as you might think that they are. So let's hop in. So just as we have always done, we're starting off with the color profile. So this is like a vibrant on both. And yes, this is a, in this comparison, I've got a mix up of both indoors and outdoor shots because I went to this mall and it was, you know, an interesting place with some very interesting subjects in there. So. Like a Rabbit is not my favorite, that much is pretty obvious, it just doesn't have the contrast, doesn't have the punch, it looks a little overexposed sometimes, it is kind of overexposed in this case. The S24 actually looks a little underexposed, just look at the floor, it looks a little too dark. Now I think in most cases, Leica Authentic is the one to go for because it just gives you very natural colors, really good balance with the contrast, even though in this case the S24 is underexposing slightly, most of the time you're gonna get really good contrast from the S24 Ultra as well. They show me with like authentic once again and that is what we're gonna stick with because honestly I don't really see a point in using vibrant it, all it does is it lowers the contrast and boosts the vibrant just a little bit and it feels completely pointless to me because personally speaking the higher contrast looks so much better I mean take a look at it for yourself the S24 I would say is fairly strong which I like and I do understand that most people won't but on the Xiaomi 14 I think it's striking an absolutely perfect balance now here's another indoor shot and there is a little bit of an issue that I found with the Leica Authentic which is that you can sometimes have overblown highlights. Just look at that sign right behind the Audi and you can tell that it's a little bit more blown out than the H4 Ultra which really goes crazy with the HR processing. I mean that in a very good way because having good HR processing is important and you can very easily see the case here. Now speaking of processing, let's zoom in and take a look at how much sharpening happens on both or rather the lack of sharpening that happens on the Xiaomi 14. And look, I completely understand that a lot of people really like the unsharpened look of the Xiaomi 14. There is always a perfect balance that must be met. Look, we are not at that precipice of camera technology evolution where processing or sharpening is not going to be needed when you're taking a regular 12 pixel shot from either of these phones. The hardware is just not good enough yet because you can tell, yes, the S24 Ultra is over sharpening in some spaces. Remember, this is a 500% crop. No one crops into 500% on a regular 12 megapixel shot, definitely not. But you do get significantly more detail, even at 1x. The Xiaomi 14, on the other hand, yeah, it just doesn't look as nice. And this dogmatic prevention of over sharpening, it, it just doesn't work. There is a balance that needs to be met, and the S24 Ultra is much closer to that balance. That's all I have to say. Now then, a backlit shot. This was not easy. Like, the sun is pretty up there, and it was very bright. <laughs> As you can tell, both phones are struggling. I think both are taking kind of a different route. The S24 Ultra is crushing much of the shadows whilst maintaining more of the highlights. The Xiaomi 14 is doing the exact opposite. Now here's the main camera close up. And yes, I do really like how the S24 is handling this scene. It has some of the warmth from the sunlight present on the flowers, which I think is fantastic. But I also really like the way the highlights are being handled on the Xiaomi 14. They look very natural and the S24 Ultra, it has some weird color banding and artifacts going on. That yellow especially wasn't present when I took the shot, of course. And I think that's coming from the highlight reduction as an artifact. So it just it strikes me as looking a little odd and artificial. Now let's move on to the ultra wide camera. Now this is a regular shot that we have taken. So here's the deal. Once again, the S24 Ultra, I'm telling you, the contrast on the S24 is very rich. And even though, once again, it really caters to my taste, I love high contrast shots. I completely understand that this is not something that's going to be for everyone. The Xiaomi 14, I think it has a really good balance that is going to work for everybody. Like most people, when they use like authentic and expect you know, natural colors, which is exactly what you're getting, the contrast you get is stunning and it really works. But then I really want to check the details. This is a Shulma Pixels, but we do, technically speaking, have a much higher resolution sensor and much higher quality sensor as well on the Xiaomi 14's UltraWide. However, as you can tell, yes, the S24 Ultra is sharpening through and through. You can see so much haloing and artifacting, it's almost a joke. But still, it is preserving more detail. That tiny 12 pixel sensor on the S24 Ultra, which is not particularly high quality, is actually producing more detail simply because of the processing. That's how far processing can go, as you can tell. And 
here it is like a clear case of the Xiaomi 14 or the Xiaomi 14's processing not taking advantage of really good hardware. It feels like a waste in my opinion. After all, it could be so much better, but it is being held back. Now, this right here is a very backlit shot, as you can tell, very late sunset too, so I really like how both are handling it. I think the S24 Ultra in general is going to have more vibrance, that's just the way it operates. The Xiaomi 14 is giving us really nice and really natural colors. Contrast looks absolutely stunning on both, I have nothing to say here. It's incredible. I really like the approach that both of these phones have. Now let's head back into this, and this is technically once again a backlit shot because those lights you can see up there, they were bright. Like it was hurting my eyes just to take this damn shot, but yeah. I do think that in this case, once again, the Xiaomi 14 has very natural colors, way higher contrast, but the details on the S24 Ultra, even though we are indoors and the lighting is not perfectly optimal like in some of the shots we took earlier, the details are higher on the S24 Ultra and it just it really blows my mind that such a low quality sensor can keep up with such a high quality sensor simply because the processing is so much better. That's all it is. Now don't get me wrong, this is not an excuse for the S24 Ultra to have what I would consider to be hot garbage for an ultra wide sensor. But at the very least, it is keeping up. Now this is another main camera shot, and I think that the S24 Ultra is maybe a little too dark in some of the shadows. It's a very minor difference, but the Xiaomi 14's balance is just pulling it ahead just by a pinch. Now then 2x, so the Xiaomi 14 says it can do 2x, but unfortunately the 2x isn't particularly good. Like there is significantly better 2x sensor crops that we can get from many other smartphones. Crappy in the fan present and the S24 Ultra, which for some reason doesn't actually sport a 2x sensor crop it is actually producing more detail that's just processing as i said as i mentioned in the 1x zoom shot that we did it just has more processing more sharpening going on and it strikes a fairly nice balance as you can tell not the best sensor crop or any kind of 2x zoom that you get in many other devices but you can tell even against the s24 ultra the xiaomi phone is not really doing much now is it now then moving on to 3x see 3X is actually, once again, way higher quality sensor on the Xiaomi 14 as opposed to the S24 Ultra. And when we do crop into 500%, look, the difference is minor. I do think the Xiaomi is doing a slightly better job because it has less grain. The S24 Ultra on the other hand with a much low quality sensor, which again, it should never have a low quality sensor. I mean, consider the damn price tag. How can a phone that costs half the price have better hardware? That should not be happening. It should be illegal. But it, it, it is the way it is. Then we have the 5X, which is indeed very high quality. One of the best 5X zooms that you're gonna get. It's a very good sensor that they've used. Thankfully, finally, we have a good sense. <laughs> I gotta admit, the Xiaomi 14 is keeping up fairly well at 5X at the very least. It looks really good. At 10X, and yeah, in this case, I think the S24 doesn't have as much contrast as I would like personally, but of course, the detail level difference is very obvious. At least to me, it is. Maybe on YouTube, you're not able to see the exact detail difference. So here's a 30X shot. And Again, it's a little overexposed on the S24 Ultra, but the details are stunning to say the very least. Now then macro, see macro is very interesting on both because what we have here on the S24 Ultra is a very good, very high quality macro with the ultra wide camera. You can get super close to your subjects, closer than the Xiaomi 14, but you'll notice that the Xiaomi 14 looks a little different, doesn't it? It has no distortion and it has better details. That's because we're using the 3X telephoto for the macro shot. It doesn't use the ultra wide at all, which is kind of interesting, but you are getting a higher quality image, less noise, more details, and no distortion. So I think both have their pros and cons in a manner of speaking. Now then high resolution. So yes, the S24 Ultra has that incredible 200 megapixel sensor. I meant that with absolute sarcasm because the, the 200 megapixel mode is really not worth using because 50 megapixels works just as well. I mean, it's more than obvious here, right? The Xiaomi 14, yes, it's, it's a little overexposed, but the detail level is pretty much the same, far as I can tell. There is more grain, once again, on the Xiaomi 14 because I think it is overexposed. And then, of course, we have the coveted 200 megapixels. And as you can tell, when we crop in all the way to 500%, I would even go so far as to say that the 50 megapixel mode looked better. It had less of that blue haloing that we see now with 200 megapixels. And the detail difference is, I don't even think calling it negligible would really drive home the point as to how exactly similar they look in terms of details. Like, it's just odd that instead of giving us a good one inch sensor at 50 megapixels, Samsung is going for a 200 megapixel camera, which, yes, I understand, it's marketing. It's supposed to be that way. 
but still, now that the ultra wide camera, see the S24 does process the ultra wide shots a lot, right? And I can tell, even with us zooming in, that the texture on the floor and on some of the walls and whatnot, it's popping out from the S24 Ultra. That is not the case on the Xiaomi 40, not even in the slightest. And when we crop into 500%, you can tell it's just not enough of a difference. When I have something like a 15 pixel sensor on the Xiaomi 14, four times the resolution as that of the S24 Ultra, I'm expecting it to perform at least a little bit better. Not exactly the same, right? At the very least, it should be better. I don't expect it to be four times as good, but I do expect more detail than the S24 Ultra's measly, low quality 12 pixel sensor. But well, that's usually not the way it works. And again, this is really a problem with the Xiaomi 14 not processing the image enough. I know a lot of people don't like processing. I mean, look, if you really hate processing that, just take raw photos and edit them yourself. But the auto mode, the regular photo mode that you use for taking photographs, there needs to be some level of sharpening and high resolution photos need to have some level of sharpening to bring out the details that are actually present in the shot. The hardware cannot work alone. And in this 3x shot, which, man, I gotta admit, I didn't really choose the subject very carefully now, did I? Because this 500% crop is, it looks a little creepy. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, once again, the Xiaomi 14, it just doesn't look that nice. You don't really think that you're looking at like a four or five times more resolution shot on the Xiaomi 14, as opposed to the S24 Ultra, which is just basic with a 3X, right? It's like these two phones are two sides of a coin. The Xiaomi 14 has tremendous hardware, but cannot take advantage of it. The S24 Ultra has horrible hardware, but really takes advantage of every little bit that that hardware can produce. So a mashup of these two phones, the good stuff about these two phones, would be bloody incredible, wouldn't it? Absolutely perfect. Now then, 5X, yes, we do get a 51 pixel mode on the H24 Ultra's 5X, which, as I mentioned, really good sensor. And of course, I'm not expecting the Xiaomi 14 to do anything much here. I mean, 500% crop, you can tell the H24 Ultra is doing significantly better. It should. It has both optical zoom and high resolution. If it didn't do better, then man. Now then, selfie, see, before I say anything, did you notice just how close both these phones were in just the daylight shots? I mean, we test out HDR, we test out high res, we test out zoom. And yes, the S24 does have more versatility with the 3X and the 5X, but it really is a difference in the way the photos are being approached. Not once did I realistically think, yes, the S24 Ultra is double the price of the Xiaomi 14. And yes, I know the S24 has more than just the cameras, but the cameras are one of the most important things, especially in the best flagship that Samsung produces. I expect more than this, to be entirely fair. But anyways, let's talk about selfies. So the S24 Ultra, not only does it not have a wider field of view as compared to the Xiaomi 14, I think the Xiaomi 14 looks significantly more natural, simply because it doesn't sharpen as much. And yeah, yeah, I get it, the, I get the irony and the fact that I'm contradicting myself, but understand that there's a level of sharpening that makes images look good. And then there's a level of sharpening that we get from the S24 Ultra selfies, which can make things look way too crazy. Like I can see minute level of haloing in sort of my hair, the beard, so the background leaves, like it just doesn't look good. Now usually the Xiaomi 14's much more natural approach is a good thing, but there are also some times when the HDR processing just craps a bit on the Xiaomi 14 as you can tell. The S24 in that regard is definitely much more consistent, but I still don't really prefer that massively sharpened look. Now see, there is a significant difference between sharpening and over sharpening. I think the S24 Ultra toes the line quite perfectly almost when using the rear cameras. But with the selfie camera, it just, it goes way overboard. And that's when it starts to look bad and that's when it starts to look genuinely over processed. Even in this case, even though I think the Xiaomi 14 is just not doing a good enough job, I still think the S24 Ultra looks kind of over processed. Now the Xiaomi 14 could definitely use some work with the consistency and the HR processing with the selfies, but to be fair, selfies were never Xiaomi strong suit, nor were they. But somehow, oddly enough, the Xiaomi 14 selfie portraits look significantly better than selfies and significantly more consistent as well. As you can tell, it looks incredible this time around. And because of the way the contrast is being handled so perfectly and the fact that the background bouquet looks so much better, so much more prominent than the H24 Ultra, not quite as natural as the H24 Ultra, I get that with just a background bouquet, but the lack of sharpening and the really nice skin tones and the really good balance and contrast, it just works on the Xiaomi, doesn't it? Now than this slightly backlit shirt, I think the Xiaomi is once again doing a much better job. I mean, look at the control over the highlights. Yes, it doesn't have as much contrast as the S24 Ultra, but it is still maintaining a very nice balance 
It has really nice skin tones. It is maintaining that warmth that we get from the sunset and also none of that over sharpening, which I like a lot. It was only in this directly backlit selfie portrait that we finally get the S24 Ultra to pull ahead with the contrast and the pressing. Yes, the S24 Ultra's general consistency with the selfies and selfie portraits is fantastic. But more often than not, I really liked how the Xiaomi 14's portrait selfies looked in particular. Now then for night selfies, I think the S24 is kind of screwing things up. Usually it produces better images than this, but the colors are just off. Like they are crazy. I'm wearing the same shirt as I'm wearing now. And yes, I get it. I have a color grade on it. It's probably looking more teal or turquoise than the blue that it should be, the navy blue that it should be, but the S44 is going crazy with it. Also, the warmth in the background is looking a little wacky and even though the quality of the shot is better on the S24 Ultra, I think the colors are so much nicer, so much more pleasant on the Xiaomi 14. Now, night selfie portraits, that is something that I think only the S24 Ultra can do. I don't really remember any other smartphone that can do it. Could be wrong. But I do think that the S24 looks really nice, very detailed, and I think the colors are not too shabby either. But I can also see that the S24 kind of blurred out my hair, which is uh, unfortunate. But Compared to the Xiaomi 14, it is doing a better job. Now then, rare camera portraits. So, you do get an option for Leica Authentic and Leica Vibrant. I do have a sample of Leica Authentic and Leica Vibrant coming up soon enough with the portraits. But most of the shots that I took, they were with Leica Authentic. And some of them came out like this, which, you know, I don't really know how to feel about it. I like the contrast, but I think it's going a little too crazy, especially with my face. Like, that is way too much. The S24. It has tremendous portraits, as you might have expected. At the very least, for a phone that costs double the money, I would expect it to have tremendous portraits. And as you would have expected at this point, selfies, selfie portraits, and rare portraits. Inconsistency is one of the biggest problems that plagues the Xiaomi 14. You know, the HDR processing sometimes craps a bit, and other times you just want great saturation. In this case, it's both of those problems, while the S24 Ultra, again, rock solid. And I'm fairly certain that having good consistent portraits and selfies and selfie portraits is gonna be a deal breaker for most people, or rather not having them would be a deal breaker. And well, look, sometimes when it works, it just works almost flawlessly on the Xiaomi 14. I mean, this is, it looks so much better than the H24 Ultra, which again, it does have a little bit of over sharpening going on with rare portraits as well. Not as bad as the selfies, I think it's much more under control, much more natural looking with the sharpening, it's a good balance, but in this case, I actually like how the Xiaomi looks. Now this right here is 3X, and look, something about the skin tones on the H24 Ultra, it looks a little low, I think there's a bit more green tinge in there than I would personally like. The Xiaomi 14 is doing a really good job, it has very high contrast, it's like on the very cusp, the precipice of blowing out some of the highlights, but it's really not quite there yet. Now then 5X, so 90 millimeters is kind of what we get on the Xiaomi 14 and it looks horrendous. We have this ridiculous filter that, you know, I've complained about this all the time. Why is it baked in? Let us turn the damn thing off and use the focal length. That's all we need. The H24 Ultra, of course, lets you take regular portrait mode, which is perfect. Exactly what you want, right? Now then a backlit portrait and look, the H24 Ultra has a lot of faults. It has problems with the hardware and, you know, there are going to be some issues with night mode as well, so don't go just yet. And look, whatever the problems are, you gotta give it credit, right? Even though it's ridiculously expensive and the camera hardware is just not up to par, the consistency with the portraits and the selfies and selfie portraits is really something. Needless to say, the Xiaomi 14 was completely desaturated and of course that's not the kind of shot you want, right? Inconsistency, once again, is definitely an issue. And so, well, you can kind of rectify it. If you get an unsaturated image like the previous one, well, you can use the like a vibrant and that does work. It basically brought it up to par with the H24 Ultra, which is quite nice. Now the night portrait. So I think there was probably a little bit of blurring in my t-shirt for some reason on the H24 Ultra. Maybe I moved a little, but I think overall the details, especially my face, the skin tones, everything is just looking significantly better on the H24 Ultra as opposed to the Xiaomi 14, which is a little too desaturated and just doesn't have the details or the same level of noise reduction as opposed to the H24 Ultra. Now finally, we have reached night mode and Yes, we do get problems here. In this particular case, there weren't any major issues. I do think that the white balance is a little too cooled off on the H24 Ultra, a little too neutral for how it looked. Xiaomi 14 is doing a really good job. This is like a Vibrant, by the way. You once again get options. And I don't really like to use like a Vibrant personally because when we go to like Authentic, you can tell immediately that the Xiaomi 14 kind of corrected that oversaturation in some of the warm tones we had. 
and immediately it looks absolutely natural. The sky got a little bit darker, we got a touch more contrast in some of the parts and it just looks so good, so very like a nighttime shot. And personally for me, the dark shadows, the nighttime look that we get from the Xiaomi 14, it is almost priceless. There are very few phones that can do it as well as the Xiaomi 14. And in this case, it is kind of evident, isn't it? The S24 does have more shadow detail, but here's one of the biggest problems of the S24 Ultra. That crazy purple tint we get in like the corners of the image, oddly enough. And it just, it looks so horrible. Like, I don't know why this problem exists. It is a processing problem, far as I can tell, because the previous shot didn't have it. Apparently, what I found is that it usually happens when it's particularly dark or if there's highlights, like streetlights in the scene. But let's face it, unless you're in the Grand Canyon or on top of the Alps, you gotta find streetlights everywhere around the world. Similar story here, we also have the night sky in this case, and you can tell just how realistic that night sky looks on the Xiaomi 14. It's perfect. This is a perfect image from the Xiaomi 14. A far cry from just how weird and horrible it looks on the S24 Ultra. Like, at this point, it's like the Xiaomi 14 feels like the more expensive flagship. Isn't it? That that should never happen. Let me tell you right now. But anyways, let's move on to the ultra wide camera and see. Now this is finally a place where having horrible hardware is finally gonna bite the S24 Ultra right in the ass because the Xiaomi 14's detail level is so much higher. It's not even a comparison. And also that blue in the S24's night sky is ridiculous. I don't even know what the hell is going on there. It looks so horrible, I didn't even want to look at it for too long. Now somehow in this case, the S24 Ultra's night sky looks fairly nice, I would say. The detail level is of course not as good as the Xiaomi 14. Again, this is simply because the Xiaomi 14 has a much larger high quality sensor. And even though it doesn't do a lot of processing with that sensor, just having a better sensor, better hardware at night is going to help out, regardless of what happens. And I like how the S24 looks, but the Xiaomi is without question doing a much better job. Now in this case, we actually have a lot of flaring going on, much more flaring on the Xiaomi 14. And although it is being controlled really well on the S24 Ultra, like props to the processing, the details are just way lower on the S24 Ultra. And also it's just kind of like in contrast as opposed to the Xiaomi 14. I mean, it's not that big a difference, at least as compared to the previous shots. Now then 3x at night. So I think in this particular shot, at least, the Xiaomi 14 is definitely crushing shadows a little. Now, usually it doesn't do that. And I think the S24 Ultra is doing a tremendous job. It looks absolutely perfect with the way it's handling the shadows and what. It's got some really good balance with the contrast going on. And the detail levels were pretty similar, just in case you were wondering. Now for 5X, I think that the S24 Ultra is completely, I mean, come on. It has both high resolution or a higher quality sensor and more optical zoom with the periscope camera. It's without question gonna perform better than the Xiaomi 14 and the Xiaomi 14's colors are also a little bit off, so that doesn't help. And so that is a wrap for this comparison and I gotta admit, yes, there are problems on both phones, to be completely fair. The Xiaomi 14 has a lot of inconsistency going on with the selfies and the portraits, but to be completely honest, like the quality of the shots that you can get from the Xiaomi 14, it's really something. And if you're willing to overlook some of the inconsistencies that we have, the fact that you're getting this level of quality, this level of a camera system, at basically half the price of the S24 Ultra, and I don't know about the current prices, I'm talking only about the launch prices here, it's quite something. It is very impressive on the Xiaomi 14. The S24 Ultra, you know, what it really needs, it doesn't need Galaxy AI, no, it needs better, uniformly better sensors. Let's just say a really good high quality 50 megapixel ultra wide, a really good high quality 50 megapixel or 48 megapixel 3x. It already has a 5x. And get rid of the 200 megapixel sensor and give us a one inch sensor instead. That's gonna be significantly better. And well, that, that's basically the thing here. The S24 Ultra's processing is good enough for regular daylight shots, but when the light gets a little bit problematic, especially low light, you don't really get that benefit anymore. And for a phone that costs this much, once again, if you lose out on benefits when the lighting gets a little difficult, that's clearly an indication that the bloody hardware needs some upgrades. So, I'll be seeing you guys soon with many more to come. Cheers.